Dear learners, uh, in this video we are just uh, going to see the effective strategies for applying or implementing in manifestation uh, step by step. Uh, the first step to apply or implement uh, manifestation to your life is or to use manifestation or to manifest anything uh, for the life that is desired is uh, the first step is you have to set clear intentions, right? Setting clear intention is very important. You have to begin by identifying what you truly desire to manifest in your life. You have to take some time to think deeply about your goals, your dreams, and aspirations, and write them down in a clear and concise manner. You have to just the more specific you are, the better you become, right? So uh, the second step is you have to create a vision board. A vision body is very powerful right so visualize your intentions by creating a vision board you have to collect images maybe phrases maybe qualities that represent your desired manifestations you have to arrange them on a board or a digital college maybe in your cell phone maybe in your walls uh, you may just attach in your uh, anywhere just that you see them daily right so you have to arrange them on a board or a digital college, maybe in your just wallpaper, you maybe make it a wallpaper or screen it off with your uh, PC or with your phone, you may hear uh, like. So you have to place somewhere visible so you can regularly focus on it. You, have, you may have the chance to see them daily on those places, right? And the other step three is you have to practice daily affirmation, right? practice daily affirmation or using positive uh, words daily right? and those affirmations are positive statements that help you reprogram your subconscious mind right? and you have to create a list of affirmations that directly align with your manifestation maybe you have to repeat them daily you have to either maybe aloud or in your mind feel the emotion associated with the manifestation as you repeat them right? you have to feel the feeling of those things or the things that you want to just manifest right you have to the step four is you have to develop gratitude practice you have to be thankful always right with what you got so gratitude is essential for manifestation because it creates a positive mindset right because if you just become gratitude every day you become just happier and you will have post mindset it will help you to manifest something that you desire so begin each day by expressing gratitude for what you already have as well as for the manifestation you desire, right? You have to keep a gratitude journal and write down specific things you are grateful for daily and maybe including the progress you are making towards your manifestation. You may write them down. And so the step five is you have to visualize and feel the outcomes. Yes? You have to visualize before it happens. You have to feel the outcome before it happened, before be manifested, before, right? You have to spend time each day visualizing your desired manifestation as if they have already become reality. Really, right? You have to close your eye, imagine the detail, and feel the emotion that comes with your achieving your goal, right? This helps to create a strong mental emotion that activates the law of attraction. Right? You will attract them by just visualizing before you get them, right? You can you can you can attract the things that you desire by just visualizing daily. Right? The other one is taking spot action. Right? Taking spot action is very important. Manifestation requires action, right? So take small consistent steps towards your goal. Maybe break them down into manageable tasks and create a plan of action. You have to create a plan of action. You have to uh, and also trust your intention and uh, take inspired actions that align with your manifestation. So this is important. Taking action is very, very critical step, right? Because you will you never just reap unless you take inspired action in each and every area, right? So uh, the other one, step seven, is cultivate a positive mindset. Huh. This is very important. Having the right mindset, having a positive mindset is very powerful, right? Keep a positive attitude throughout the manifestation process. You have to replace any negative thoughts or doubts with a positive one, right? 
You have to surround yourself with supportive and uplifting people and practice mindfulness or meditation daily to keep your mind focused and calm. Right? You have to just surround yourself with positive people and you have to practice positive affirmation, gratitude and something which is just uplifts you, right? The other one is uh, step eight, uh, release attachment to the outcomes. Maybe you may experience a negative outcome at the time, you have to attach yourself to those outcomes. Well, it's important to have a clear edition, it's quite important to release attachment to the outcomes, right? And you have to let go of just any feeling of depression or neediness. You have to trust that the universe now the perfect timing and will deliver what is best for your highest good. You have to know this. And also the other one is practice patience and persistence. Right? You have to practice patience and persistence. So manifestation takes time and effort. Be patient with yourself and the process. Right? You have to be patient with the process and the, yourself. You have to avoid getting discouraged if results don't appear immediately. Yes? You have to stay persistent and continue to take inspired action towards your manifestation. Right? And also the other one is you have to celebrate and acknowledge progress. You have to celebrate and acknowledge the pro progress. And recognize and celebrate each small achievement and milestone towards your desired manifestation is very important. And celebrating progress help you reinforce maybe the positive energy and momentum in the manifesting process, right? And also you have to remember uh, manifesting is a journey that requires consistent effort, positive and alignment with your desire, right? By practicing these strategies, you can enhance your ability to manifest your dream into reality, right? So these uh, steps are very important to implement, uh, uh, to implement manifestation and to live your life that you desire. You know, you need to bring the life that you want to manifest the life that you want. It's very important 